let's get started. So now we're going to do is start a brand new project, then open up the folder with the content in it. I'm dragging the file with the green screen and the talent or the actress. Then going to go to a background set and drag that into the system. So now we have two files, the background drop or backdrop and the picture of the green screen. So now drag the one with the green screen up into the view folder. Here. And we're going to go to effects, ultra key, then drag that onto the same video with the green screen. So you can see at the left hand side, you're going to have video effects area, at least that's how it is on mine. I drag the dropper into the green, and now I'm going down to aggressive, and that should get rid of the vast majority of the green. If not, there's a few other things that we can play with in map. So now I'm going to drag the background to the backdrop. And I'm going to drag the actress to the green screen also on the same timeline. And now as you can see, we're going to have to resize it. Once it's resized, move it over a little bit, resize it again to get the right size. And it's as simple as that. So now what do you do once you actually have it overlaid? What I'm going to do is go to File, Export, and then Media, and we're going to save this as a movie file. So make sure you use QuickTime, that's the one I like. And then the combination with QuickTime I have pretty good luck with is Animation. So here's the key item, is that you need to make sure that you have a 32-bit color, because that's what actually has the alpha channel. So scroll down just a little bit. You see the color, 24-bit, let's make it to 32-bit. And then at this point, you're ready to go. Let's hit export. This takes a while, so I'm going to fast forward. Now that it's done encoding or exporting, let's take a look at the file. Now you can see that these files are extremely large. This is only a 30 second clip, and it's over 6 gig. So to make things a little bit more manageable, I'm going to open up the media encoder from Adobe, and then convert it into something that I can use. Now the background popped up the media encoder, so I'm going to drag the big 6 gig file onto it. And then we're going to go into the file name area, go and double click on it, and I'm going to change this name to a smaller dash vid, so we can definitely tell the difference between the two. And then I'm also going to change the encoding, because it's a lot bigger, it'll still have pretty good quality if we dump it down. So in this section, again I like to go to the H.264. And then everything else looks good, we're going to hit OK. And then when you hit play, it starts the encoding process. Now this encoding phase can take time as well. Once it's done on the right hand side, we're going to see a new file pop up, which is probably going to be at least, probably maybe 10% of the size. And then we'll open it up and see how it looks. Yeah.